Hey guys, it's Mark here bringing you another Nintendo Box video and this is really a video that I could just not resist making. And on the day of the Splatoon Direct, which I thought was pretty good, nothing too outstanding but it did have some nice little tidbits in, I have also found out that the news has come out that there is going to be a Nintendo section in the Universal Orlando theme park which is insane guys, that is so awesome. If you don't know, um, I'm in quite a lucky position where uh, more recently in the past few years my family has been going to uh, Florida every other year and uh, it's been awesome every time, we've just went our third time this, uh, this year just happening, 2015. And this next time, hopefully, maybe, they'll at least be building this Nintendo theme park, or this little offshoot of uh, Universal Orlando, which will be the Nintendo part of the theme park. And it's insane, there's so many great things that they could do with this. Can you imagine an F-Zero roller coaster? That would be so cool. And also, uh, Universal Orlando, or Universal just in general, they must have this kind of proprietary system because Disney actually have nothing like it. But Universal have these kind of 4D roller coasters where it's kind of an experience of half a roller coaster, half a simulator, and I think that will be perfect for Nintendo. Uh, like I said, you could have an F Zero one, or more likely, I think, there'll be a simulator which will be a Mario Kart simulator. Now, I could see that definitely happening. Because obviously Mario Kart is massive and oh sorry guys I've been so excited I've just really rushed to making this video I've completely forgot this is going to be that's why I'm excited for episode and obviously you can tell that I'm very excited for this and I just couldn't resist making it. So like I said yeah a Mario Kart roller coaster that's very possible maybe using that 4D simulator kind of technology that they've got. That's what they're currently using on uh, things such as the Spider-Man ride and the Transformers ride. So it could really work very well and I think it would be really cool. There's also other things such as that kind of technology would also be great in a Star Fox ride. You've got to think of the possibilities that they could use for Zelda. What art style would they use for anything Zelda? It would be insane. I'm not even sure what they would do for a Zelda. Maybe that would be more of a normal kind of roller coaster. I'm not really sure. They could definitely do something really, really cool. And then imagine the potential for Splatoon. It could be like one of those more interactive games, like uh, maybe something like Men in Black that they have at Universal, but kind of better. Maybe something more akin to. Uh, Toy Story Mania in Disney World, which is kind of this uh, game where you're in carts and you have a, like a splat gun, so yep, yeah, Splatoon, and uh, you hit uh, little mini games on the screen, and there's so much potential to do all sorts like that in a Nintendo Land, and really, I just really think, guys, that this needs as much if not more, although it's definitely going to happen that they're not going to give more to Nintendo than they did to Harry Potter. But as much as Harry Potter, I don't think they'll actually get that much area. Because uh, the thing with Universal is it's not like Disney World in that they've got a lot of land. They haven't got the same amount, so they keep having to replace rides with other ones. That is why, unfortunately, the Jaws ride, which was awesome, did get taken down in exchange for the... Um, Gringot section of Harry Potter and now I'm not a guy who's mad about Harry Potter so I'm not particularly bothered by how big the Harry Potter area is although I realize loads of people go crazy over that but there will also be loads of people going crazy over Nintendo and just an amazing move Nintendo obviously the Nintendo IPs translate so well over to you know roller coasters and simulators and just that whole experience and this will be a money maker for both Nintendo and Universal don't you doubt that it will definitely be a money spinner and it's just going to be awesome although I'm not really sure like I said where they're going to even put it because it could possibly be put in the Islands of Adventure part the maybe the discovery kind of land which is a bit of a nothing land in my opinion nothing really happens there there's one place that I remember called Poseidon's Fury, that was the name of the ride and it sucked, but apart from that there's not much apart from a few restaurants and it's a huge piece of land. So they could put a lot of Nintendo in there, 
or potentially they could put it somewhere in the studios though there's not actually that much room there left with the Simpsons land and then the extra bit to Harry Potter and uh, obviously you've got Men in Black and then the Fear Factor so maybe they'd replace Men in Black and Fear Factor with Nintendo although if that was the case I do not think that is enough dedicated to Nintendo because this will be a huge money spinner and uh, it'll take all my money. This will be a place just to get Nintendo merch as well as much as anything while I'm on holiday So uh, guarantee next time I'm going on one of those holidays I am bringing a lot of dollars when I go over to America and I'm going to spend a lot guys But I'm just really excited for any possibilities So please if you have watched it up until this point, thank you so much I know it's been a bit of a longer video, but if you could please leave in the comment section down below what do you think to this guys? How awesome is this? Are you excited? And what kind of rides or, you know, entertainment do you think that they could have in the Nintendo part of the land? Maybe something with Pikmin would be cool. I don't know. So uh, leave it down in the comment section below guys. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Thank you very much. I've been Maki. You've been watching another Nintendo Box video. Bye guys.